Hey there, Year 11 Mathematician is Mr. Herman here, and this video is going to be talking about what to expect for Term 3 during Remote Teaching 2020. Now again, we've been put into the situation that's not necessarily ideal, um, but we just have to get through this, okay? Considering the climate or what's been going on uh, within Victoria, within Australia, within the world, um, where we're put into this, again, uneasy, and uh, unsure times. Uh, but together, we can get through this, okay? So this video is gonna talk about what you are uh, expected to see and what we're going to do. There are a few changes uh, and a few tweaks, especially when it comes to uh, school assess courseworks or uh, assess coursework or SACs. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. The first thing I wanna talk about uh, is the expected um, topics that you'll be seeing for this term. Okay, so I'll have the list pop up here, uh, but the first one, um, the number and patterns and sequences, which we started technically uh, last week on Friday, uh, we'll be continuing on with this topic. So we finished with financial uh, arithmetic, looking into number patterns and sequences. Um, after this, we'll be looking at matrices. Um, and then, by the end of the term, we should have an intro into the graphs and networks topic, okay? Now, um, what this video will also be showing is where to find the resources by now, Compass and Microsoft Teams um, are your go-to homes for this. But just in case, we'll have a squeeze at Compass here. Now, if you go into Compass and in your case, you will go to your class. And in there, there'll be the tab resources. You'll be clicking on this. Now, mine's gonna look a little bit different. You will have unit two right here. And number patterns and sequences, chapter eight, and worksheets can be found here. Now, with these uh, lessons, uh, you'll notice that within the file name, you'll have a, a lesson that has WS next to it. This just means that for that specific lesson, there is also a worksheet that is attached to it as well, okay? So uh, with the log sheet, you will get uh, questions from exercise 8A, which was uh, lesson one, which we just saw. And then the next lesson, recurrence relations, um, You'll have exercise from uh, questions from exercise 8H, and then you'll also have a worksheet attached to this. Okay, uh, you're just going to make sure that you check the timeline, which I'm going to show in a second, um, and you're following along the uh, relevant timeline. Okay, every single lesson except for lesson one has a worksheet attached to this. Okay. Now, again, this, uh, these set of resources can also be found in Microsoft Teams, in the Files tab, click on Class Materials, go to Unit 2, and in there you'll see number six, number patterns and sequences. Just be careful, uh, this puts it in a bit of a weird order, um, so just make sure that you get in the right uh, lesson notes. Now, I'm hoping that when you guys um, when you guys uh, were at school on the last day, uh, which was on Monday, yesterday, uh, you got all the relevant notes that were in room S2. Um, and you got every single piece of resource and board notes. If you haven't, uh, the situation is you either print off the notes from Compass and write on them, um, or you just look at the notes on Compass and copy them down into your book if you do not have a printer. Now within the resources folder, you will also find a file called 2020 Year 11 Journal Math Timeline MHE, that should be TAZ actually, because I've changed it. Um, and this is going to show you the expected timeline for this term. When you click on it and download it, uh, it will look something like this. Let's see if I can move the screen here, there we go. And I haven't put every, anything for week one and week two and the start of week three because that's already been. But you'll see that the first lesson um, was uh, number patterns, uh, which happened on the Friday. Then Tuesday period one and two, which is today when I'm recording this, is our student free day. And then the next, next lesson, which is period two, 
will be a lesson to recurrence relations worksheet. Now I've made this a little bit uh, reader friendly. Um, I've got the lesson number within the start of each topic and it will also determine whether you're working on an exercise, a worksheet, or in some cases an exercise and a worksheet. Now there are several um, blocks that are shaded within a different color. Uh, if you see one of the lessons that is purple, uh, it says it at the start as well, we have a designated team meeting for that, um, for that period, okay? Uh, we'll be having two weekly meetings per week, uh, and this will just cycle, and, uh, except for the first week of remote teaching, which is week four within our plan hour, that will happen on a Wednesday. After that, we'll alternate between Tuesday period one from our double, and Friday period two. And all the team meeting is going to do is just check on you guys to see how you're uh, traveling, check to see if there are any misconceptions in regards to what's going on, um, and also give you guys the opportunity to, um, to talk about what you found difficult within the topic, and also give advice um, if you found something uh, that was done within an easier way. Um, the team meetings aren't necessarily going to go for the full 57 minutes or within our designated um, period. But um, in saying that, I, I will be available not only during the team meeting lessons, but every single lesson that we have, uh, should you have any questions or concerns with the work. Now, uh, again, I'll be making video tutorials in regards to, uh, regards to the set work. Now obviously I have not made any video tutorials uh, at this point, but eventually um, I will be chipping away at them. Um, the channel Taz Herman, just type in Taz Herman within the search bar, you will come to my YouTube uh, video channel that looks like this. And hopefully your playlist will be shown here with the next topic, okay? I will leave the links for each uh, exercise uh, according to the timeline. I'll put this into Microsoft Teams, so that way you have that link readily available for you to watch, and then you're going to go ahead and approach the work. In regards to work, with the work, what you'll be doing is putting your work uh, as normal into your exercise book, uh, and then you'll be uploading that work onto Compass um, through a learning task. Now, I haven't made the learning tasks as of yet, but it's similar to the approach that we did in term two, where each exercise will have you upload the certain work. You just take a picture of it, put it on, and um, I can mark it off on my end, okay? Now, one of the biggest changes uh, that's happening for year 11's during remote teaching in comparison to term two is our approach to school assessed coursework, also known as SACS. Now, in term two, Vika made some guidelines and said that SACS should be counted as assessments for term two. Um, this is now different. We're gonna keep it as SACS. So regardless of whether we're at school or doing remote teaching, you guys will still be given SACS, okay? You still have a SAC to do, you'll get a score, uh, you'll be marked accordingly to see if you pass your relevant outcomes and key knowledge skills and then you will either get an S or an N um, for that SAC, okay? Now, the, the main difference with this in mind um, is that for general mathematics, I'm reading this, um, uh, SACs will be completed at an after school time. So after your designated hours during remote teaching, so after 3.10 or 3.15, and this is to align with all the other general math classes within year 11 because they too will be conducting the exact same SAC at the same time, okay? We can't do this during class times because the main reason is uh, the other two classes have general maths at different times. So there's no time that we can align this to have you guys all doing the same SAC at the same time. So the only time we have to do this, or we can do this, that's readily available to us, is after school. Now this is only going to happen twice this term. So twice within the next 
six weeks. It's not something we're going to be doing every single every single day or once a week. It's just twice once for each topic for number patterns and sequences and the other one for matrices. Um, now these dates are still to be confirmed because we're still trying to align the best time that um, we can fit these sacks. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, watch the space. Uh, I'll give you the heads up on Microsoft Teams and I'll send emails accordingly. Um, I do remember seeing within the actual uh, timeline here, that there is a um, sack day which will be the 18th, the 19th of August. Now, this is subject to change because I'm still trying to confirm with the two other teachers if this will be the date that we're gonna go ahead after school. Um, so just keep this in mind. I've put it here as a tentative date uh, within the timeline, okay? Now, with the SACs, the um, senior team, uh, specifically Miss Miller, sent out an email to both uh, parents and students. Um, and you guys have to fill out what's called the Unit 2 Assessment Under Remote Conditions Student and Parent Declaration. All this means is that uh, when you usually do a SAC uh, within school, uh, you have to name it and then also sign it. That signature that you do uh, makes the SAC official, and this is just a, a VCA standard, okay? Uh, now that we're going into remote teaching, uh, having to do a signature is a bit redundant. Um, so to bypass this, VCA um, advise schools to have this put onto Compass for students and parents to sign, okay? This is due on the 10th of uh, August. Um, if you do not have this declaration done by then, any sex that you do afterwards will go ungraded, meaning that you will pretty much get the end for that topic. So please, please, please make sure that you get that declaration filled out by both you and your parents. And if there are any troubles, or any hassles, uh, talk to or email the senior team and specifically Miss Miller. So going back to uh, with sex, in regards to the sex, you have to make sure um, that when you are doing the sack after school, you have to make sure that you are live at your computer and we'll be using the program WebEx for this to be done, okay? You have to make sure that your camera is turned on when you are doing the sack. Uh, micro uh, microphone's obviously turned off. You also have to show your uh, resource books. Um, you have them readily available and only your resource books with the uh, required materials such as your pencil case um, and also your calculators, class pad and scientific. And you also have to visibly show that your mobile phone will be left outside. Now again, this is a VCA guideline that has been set. Um, just so we don't breach those rules in regards to SACs because SACs um, are official documents that teachers need to see in order um, for students to, to pass, okay? So just like in school where you're not allowed to have mobile phones, uh, and obviously we, we don't have them in school, we don't have them in class, uh, we can't control that literally with you guys being at home. Uh, and the best thing we can do is just see you guys put your phone outside. Okay, seems a bit abstract and weird, but considering the circumstances we are in, this is the best that we can do, okay? Now, last thing I wanna talk about, um, redemptions. Now, redemptions, uh, I will be sending out uh, an email and a little chat system on the side for those people who owe me redemptions for uh, the financial arithmetic topic. Um, and you will know the protocol, what's expected for that. But you'll notice that within the timeline, um, there are some of these blocks that are shaded in a, a peach color. Um, this here will be the set redemption date. And just like normal sacks, you will have your redemption done after school, okay? Uh, the redemption, uh, the actual redemptions themselves will be readily available for you on Compass uh, you have to, uh, no, on Microsoft Teams rather, um, the, the actual file will be sent to you. Um, you'll go ahead and do that redemption within your exercise book. 
and then when you're ready you'll take a picture of this and then upload it onto compass okay uh, the redemption for the finance topic will be done on the 12th of august after school at the start time of 3 30. okay you will get more information in regards to what to do with this uh, there will be practice um, practice sacks that can be found within the actual class itself if you go ahead into our class and click on resources and again unit 2 financial arithmetic there will be a folder here called redemption practice you click on this you'll see the three different outcomes depending on what outcomes uh, you need to prove yourself in you will have practice questions here. I will be making some video tutorials. Ideally, I wanted to show you guys what to do within this week, but we can't because we're back to remote teaching. Um, those video files will be readily available for you sometime later this week. If you have any questions uh, of any sort, please do not hesitate to email me or message me on Microsoft Teams. Um, I want to make sure that everybody is uh, on top of what they are required to do. We'll be doing a first team meeting tomorrow morning for period two's lesson. Um, pretty much recapping this, uh, but obviously talking to those people who have not seen this video of what's going on. Until then, stay safe, um, and wash your hands. Can't believe I'm saying that again. Oh my goodness. I'll see you guys tomorrow.